The state fire marshal's office and ATF agents continue to investigate a deadly morning fire in Cherokee County. Tennis reporter Joe Henke is live in the community of Park Hill with where the investigation is right now. Joe? Well, Karen, eight people inside the mobile home behind me when the fire broke out this morning. Four made it out, but four didn't. The cause of the fire remains undetermined, but a state fire marshal supervisor just left the house. He says it appears to have started in the bedroom, but does not look suspicious or criminal. As flames destroyed this mobile home just after two this morning, neighbors woke up to find several people trying to escape. I opened my door and there was flames coming out of that one window. The fire spread as four people made it out, but still inside, a 40-year-old woman, 50-year-old woman, 60-year-old man, and a three-year-old boy. Neighbors just tried to help. So I tried to go save the little baby as much as I could. As hard as I could. An effort which came up short, leaving family like Victoria James, who lives close by, heartbroken. She says her sister, sister's boyfriend and friend, died inside the fire, along with her three-year-old nephew. He is full of life, you know. He's always had a smile on his face. There was never anything wrong with him. He didn't deserve this. He didn't deserve it at all. As the cause of the fire remains under investigation, several neighbors report hearing explosions. Supervisor Terry Farrell with the state fire marshal's office says several things, including aerosol cans, could have exploded. But with eight people at this mobile home, what was and wasn't in the home is concerning. It's two bedroom. That's way overcrowded, and uh, there were no, no smoke detectors. As the investigation into this fire continues, ATF agents and the fire marshal's office kept searching through what remains of this home this afternoon. Within the last hour, the state fire marshal's office releasing the four names of the victims. I'm told they were Connie Pitchett. She was in her 50s. Becky Hooper in her 40s. Frost Chase in his 60s. And the three-year-old Jeremiah Henson. Of course, we'll bring you any updates on KJRH.com and right here on 2 News. In Park Hill tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News, works for you.